Have you ever wondered which hotel program is best for you or just reign supreme overall? Let's find out today. Welcome back. It's Haley with HaleyWithFlyer.com, your favorite travel lifestyle blogger. I know, travel during a pandemic. We all know it's funny at this point. But I'm working on content to prepare you guys for you when you can travel again. So today we're going to talk about hotel brand rewards programs. I have a little write-up that I did here on Instagram that I thought I would verbalize for all of you. So what I did is I pulled the basic hotel rewards programs, facts, and overviews on each of the major brands, and we're going to go over them. But before we do that, don't forget to hit subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and don't forget to follow me over here on social media. Okay, let's get started. First up on the list, Marriott Bonvoy. So Marriott is the king cobra of this world. Since they merged with Starwood, they are the biggest hotel brand. So when you are a Marriott Rewards member, you have access to all 30 plus brands that Marriott owns. And they have high-end luxury, their autograph collection, all the way down to your Fairfield and in suites and in between. So what you need to know, you can use your points and rewards program at over 7,000 hotels across the world. So if you are a world round traveler, this is a great solution for you. So one of the cool things that Marriott has is they have a chart of rewards points. So you will always know that if you are looking at a category one Fairfield Inn and Suites during the low season, it's always going to be 5,000 points. That's how much your free night's going to be. And it goes up based on peak and off peak times through all their different categories and they are set that way. So that is really nice because not all brands do that. Sometimes they fluck. So the membership tiers are general member. That is your person that travels just a couple times a year. Silver Elite, Gold Elite, Platinum Elite, Titanium Elite, and Ambassador Elite. So, I mean, if you're never home, that's your status. And after so many years, Marriott will actually give you like a lifetime titanium status or something of that nature once you get to those higher tiers. So earning, you're going to be earning 10 points per $1 at all brands except for residence and town place and element. Those are extended stay properties and this is very similar with most brands that have extended stay. You will only earn five points per dollar in those brands. So elite members can earn anywhere from 11 to 17 and a half points per dollar. So when you are a higher tier status, you're going to accumulate points more. It's in essence like a bonus. Gold and higher also, um, gold and higher also receive welcome points anywhere from 250 to 1,000 points. So it's really easy to accumulate points once you get going. So Marriott Bonvoy has four different credit cards. You have the Boundless Visa, the Bold Visa, the Bonvoy Brilliant Amex, and the Marriott Bonvoy Business Card. Now those all have an annual fee. They're all listed right here for your guys to view, as well as this little spreadsheet. I should just keep that here for a second. Take a screenshot <laughs> if you need to. And the last thing that you need to know about Marriott Bonvoy is after 24 months of inactivity, your points will expire. Now keep in mind during COVID, they are extending that overall, generally speaking. But if you don't use the points within 24 months, AKA two years, you're gonna lose them. Next. Well, when you're talking about Marriott, you gotta talk about Hilton Honors next. So Hilton has over 6,100 participating hotels. Their free nights start at 5,000 points, but what is different from Marriott is they will fluctuate. What Hilton hotels are allowed to do is fluctuate their points based on their demand. So instead of having those set, you know, low season's 5,000 points, high season is 15,000 points, you can be paying up to hundreds of thousands of points for a night during a peak season and a peak time at a premium property. So that is one thing that is kind of annoying about Hilton, but you guys all know I'm a, I'm a Hilton fan <laughs> from working for Hilton and staying in Hilton's. I'm a big fan. So membership tiers are member silver gold and diamond you can also get that lifetime diamond like i mentioned with marriott with hilton you earn 10 points per dollar except for home two suites and true properties where you earn five points per dollar elite members can earn, earn elite members can earn anywhere from 20 to 100 percent base points bonus on their valid stays hilton honors has three credit cards the american express hilton honors the American Express Hilton Honors Surpass and the Hilton Honors Aspire American Express. Here are their annual fees over here. 
Then if we wait a moment, I'm gonna pull up this. <laughs> Crafty, huh? <laughs> and uh, you can actually pull your points with friends and family members, which is something really cool about Hilton. So if you wanna go on a girl's trip, you can all pull your points together to get a free night stay. So the last thing that you need to know, and probably the most important thing, is that your Hilton Honors points will expire after 12 months of inactivity. That is half the time of Marriott, so make sure you read the fine print. It's 12 months, so if you're not a very frequent traveler, uh, Hilton Honors may not be the best choice for you. Just saying. All right, next property. So next up, we're going to talk about World of Hyatt. Um, this is going to be a smaller hotel brand, but all the properties tend to be very nice. They have over 750 participating hotels. Free nights start at 5,000 points as well. Their tiers are called Discoverist, Explorist, and Globalist. You can get lifetime Globalist with this brand. You earn 5 points per dollar. Elite members earn 10 to 30% base points on valid stays. World of Hyatt only has one credit card. It is the World of Hyatt Visa annual fee over here and then we're gonna wait and pull up this nice list <laughs> so one of the cool things about being a globalist for the Hyatt brand is that you can transfer points and book award travel for family and friends so if you know a globalist it's a good thing and one of the great things about when they book travel for family and friends is they get the guest of honor perk and that pretty much gives the guest almost all of the same amenities and perks that the globalist traveler actually has um, you can also transfer points from chase sapphire um, and the ink cards to hyatt at a one-to-one -one ratio which is really cool then of course, the most important thing you need to keep in mind is that points expire after 24 months of inactivity, just like Marriott. So it's a little tricky. Hyatt has some great um, perks to this program. I mean, you can't go wrong. Like the, the globalist feature is great. The problem I think for me is that there's not as many around. So I think it's a little harder to be loyal to that brand, especially if you're traveling to a lot of different places you may not always be able to find a Hyatt but if you go to a lot of bigger cities there's always going to be a Hyatt so that might be a good look for you. All right it's time to talk about IHG the Intercontinental Hotel Group. What you need to know about them is they have over 5,600 participating hotels another biggie just like Hilton and Marriott. Free nights start at 10,000 points and they are not set in a rate category like Marriott they're more like Hilton where your points are going to fluctuate based on what you can get a free night for. Uh, the tiers include Club, Gold Elite, Platinum, Spire Elite, and Kimpton Inner Circle. You can earn 10 points per dollar with Staybridge and Candlewood, their extended stay properties being five points per dollar. Elite members earn anywhere from 10 to 100% bonus points. IHG has two reward credit cards. We're gonna list those fees right here. There's the Premier MasterCard as well as the IHG Club Traveler MasterCard. So if IHG is your jam, maybe consider one of these cards. Here is the info sheet. And one of the things you need to keep in mind is that after 12 months of inactivity, just like Hilton, you are going to lose your points. Um, transferring points is actually $5 per 1,000. A lot of brands don't charge for this, but IHG is one of the few that actually does. So it's a little bit of a turnoff if you're wanting to transfer to family members. Um, but IHG is big and you're gonna see a very big global presence for this brand too. So there's a good chance there's always gonna be an IHG property where you're looking anywhere from a Holiday Inn Express up to, a, up to an actual intercontinental hotel, which are absolutely beautiful. Some of their premium brands are, are truly lovely. So if that works for you, give it a check. Next up we have Best Western. So Best Western has a very near and dear place in my heart. <laughs> it was the first ever hotel brand that I'd worked for. I'd only worked for Independence prior to this. So very, uh, very sentimental for me. So there's over 5,600 participating hotels. Free nights start at 5,000 points and these are not set as well just like IHG and Hilton. The points will fluctuate. Their tiers are gold, platinum, diamond, and diamond select. You earn at the rate of 10 points per dollar. Here are their credit cards. There is the Best Western Premium MasterCard as well as the Best Western Rewards MasterCard. So check those out if you are a Bestie Westie fan. 
here's the info sheet. It's a screenshot if you want it, just like I said before. One of the things I really want to hone in on is that if you're going to transfer points, it has to be somebody that is at the same physical address as you. So you can't pool them like Hilton can. It has to be like a spouse or a family member that lives with you. Um, the other thing I wanna to draw to your attention, this is the only major hotel brand where your points never expire. So if you are a family that only maybe travels here or there, Best Western might be a good choice for you. Next brand. All right, now we're gonna talk about choice privileges, what you need to know. So there are over 6,800 participating hotels, so another biggie. So Choice has a variety of brands. They tend to be a little bit more towards the economy sector, but they do have very beautiful boutique style hotels in their Ascend and Cambria collection, which I highly recommend checking out. Um, there's actually a video tour on my TikTok channel of a beautiful Ascend property in Buffalo, New York. So make sure you guys check that out. So free nights start at 8,000 points. These are not set and they fluctuate just like IHG, Best Western and Hilton. You earn at a rate of 10 points per dollar. The tiers are gold, platinum, and diamond. The extras program gives you, this, this is actually really unique, unique, especially if you are a business traveler. They have an extras program where when you stay during the week, you can earn either bonus choice privilege points, airline miles, gas rewards, Amazon credits, Starbucks gift cards, Uber credits. It's really neat. I'm gonna put a link to it down here. Make sure you check that out. Elite members earn anywhere from 10 to 50% in points bonuses on valid stays. Choice Privileges only has one credit card right here. That is the Choice Privilege Visa. There is no annual fee, which is nice. Members can redeem a reward night for an immediate family member. And they also have a redemption offer with Diners Club Rewards and Amtrak. And then of course, one of the most important things is your points will expire after 18 months of inactivity. So if you're looking for some decent properties, good bang for your buck, consider choice privileges. Last but certainly not least, we have Wyndham Rewards. All right, Wyndham is huge. There are over 9,000 participating hotels. Free nights are done in three tiers, 7,500, 15,000, and 30,000 per night. Tiers include blow, tiers include blue, gold, platinum, and diamond. You earn at a rate of 10 points per dollar. Elite members earn anywhere from 10 to 20% on valid stays. There's only one Wyndham credit card right here, the Wyndham Rewards Earner Visa with no annual fee. Here's their info sheet. Transferring points is $5 per every 1,000 points. You can transfer one Wyndham Reward to one reward credit with Caesars Rewards. So if you are a gambler, you like going to Vegas, that is a really great feature. And those rewards can be redeemed for gaming, meals, shows, and more. You cannot transfer points to another person. And of course, the important fact is after 18 months, the points will expire after inactivity. I hope you guys really enjoyed this today. If you want a closer version of these links that I've put up here, head over to my Instagram. You can actually bookmark the post that I created this in and save it for future reference or take some screenshots there that come out a little bit better. I hope this really helped you. If there is another travel topic you'd like to see me cover, let me know down in the comment section. And I also want to know who is your favorite rewards program? Which ones do you have? Until next week, see you next Wednesday. Have a great day. Thanks for joining, guys.